Lucas Corbin. I'm a software engineer at Quera Computing, and I'm a Qubit by Qubit teaching assistant. Hi, I'm Alev. I study quantum information at the University of Waterloo, and I'm a Qubit by Qubit teaching assistant. Hey y'all, my name is Hunter Solomon. I study quantum engineering here at Colorado School of Mines. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a PhD student in electrical engineering at MIT. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Lewis, and I am a master's student in quantum engineering at the Colorado School of Mines. Hi, this is Anosh, and I'm a computer science student at Chicago State University. Hi, my name is Sanskriti Deva, and I'm a part of the electrical and computer engineering department at North Carolina State University. Hi, I'm Angus. I'm a quantum applications developer at Quantum Brilliance. Hi, my name is Philip Mazurik. I'm in the electrical and computer engineering PhD program at Duke University. Hi everyone, I'm Elisa. I'm a physics major at Stanford. Hello, my name is Ricky Doobie. I'm a sophomore at the University of Connecticut. I'm studying math and physics. Hi, my name is Danny. I study theoretical computer science at the University of Buffalo. Hi, I'm Shada Mozzi. I study computer science at MIT. Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I study physics at Pepperdine University. Hey everyone, this is Akshay, your lead instructor. Hi, I'm Alana, and I'm a Qubit by Qubit teaching assistant. And I'm a Qubit by Qubit TA. And I'm a Qubit by Qubit teaching assistant. 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 I want to start by congratulating all of you for finishing the program. I think it's so impressive that as high school students, you took this course and you're now among the first high school students to to have learned quantum computing and I hope that you all are as proud of yourselves as we are of you. What inspired me the most this semester was watching you all learn and grow and challenge me with such great questions. Learning quantum in high school is so tough. It's such advanced math and such unintuitive concepts, but you all did so well. I hope that this course has taught you that nothing is beyond your ability to learn. With curiosity and persistence, you've learned more about quantum computing than most people will ever know. To all of our students, I hope this course has taught you not only a lot about programming, quantum physics, and quantum computing, but also taught you that everyone around you has an incredible capability to learn, including you. I'm sure many of you came to this course with hesitancy, nervous, coming to a field that you aren't very familiar with, but you're leaving with um, confidence, more confidence than you came in with. I hope you'll remember to not give up. If you are passionate about the material, you will find a way to learn about it, and you will succeed with it. You have all done so great, and I'm so proud of how much you were able to accomplish these last six months. Um, I was so inspired by all the questions you asked and everyone's engagement in this material. Your excitement is really contagious, and I hope you bring that same excitement to every new thing you learn. My favorite memory this year was definitely our last session in which our Quantum Jeopardy really showed me just how much you guys have learned and how much you're going to take away from the course. Uh, not just in terms of the knowledge, but also especially in terms of the skills and the methods of thinking about new problems that you'll encounter in your day-to-day -day life. One of my favorite memories from um, this year's lab was this one uh, when we were talking about uh, hybrid quantum algorithms and my, my lab just gave so many ideas and we talked about any, everything from uh, finance and stocks to even dating apps and I thought that was just such a cool favorite moment of mine where we all were able to share and collaborate in ideas but also just have fun uh, together. Uh, one thing that I thought was really cool throughout the semester was that I had roughly like 12 different countries represented in each of my lab sections and some of you all tuned in at like 12 in the morning. <laughs> I really appreciate the fact that you'd be willing to listen to me for an hour when you really should be asleep. Um, but all in all, like I really appreciated appreciated the dedication that each and every single one of y'all put into this course over the last eight months. One of my favorite memories over the last year was uh, when all of a sudden I was teaching my class, minding my own business, when one of y'all suddenly rickrolled me. Um, no, uh, <laughs> the real favorite memory I had was a lot more simple. My students created a large Discord where they could talk about, you know, quantum computers and ask questions and just create a solid community. My favorite memory was seeing one of my students ask a question and then one of my other students answering it, before I was able to, in fact. The camaraderie among students of quantum was something that made me so proud to be in the position that I am in. We've had some awesome conversations about what quantum computing can do in the future 
and I hope that all of you will play a huge role in developing these advances. As you continue to learn more and more, I hope you always go about it with the same excitement that I saw in the first lab. One thing I will take away from this course is that I really do not stand a chance against some of my students. I need to hurry up and get a job quick uh, because once they're in the job market, like there's no chance I am going to get anything. My students have been some of the most passionate and motivated people and, and forward thinking and I, I can't think of enough words to describe how just impressed I am with my students and I know that they're going to be successful in absolutely anything they put their mind to. As you continue with your studies and exploring quantum computing, I hope you'll remember that this is not easy stuff. You may not understand everything from the first go, but remember to keep reviewing and keep revisiting. Every time you review a topic, you'll reach a new level of understanding. So if you're ever feeling frustrated, it's okay. Take a break, take a step away, but remember that you have it in you and you are capable of doing it all. As you continue with your studies in quantum computing, I hope that you will remember how it feels to learn something technically challenging and just scary for the first time. It's difficult, it doesn't make a lot of sense, um, you might not get it on the first try, it might be disheartening, all those kinds of things. But at some point, you get it, whether it's through a lot of practice, or it's through a change in perspective, or just a really good explanation, it makes sense to you. And then you start to use it. And the more that you use all the skills you gathered in this course, the easier that they are going to seem in hindsight, until one day you are going to be talking to somebody who is five to ten years younger than you and just learning quantum computing for the first time themselves. And I hope that you remember what it's like for them, both the, the awe and the inspiration of learning something new, but also the fear that can come with it of something that is strange and new to them. Be a good mentor, be a good peer, and do your best to help all of those that come after you learn about this field, which I'm sure is only going to explode in the next five to 10 years. So remember to be easy on yourself, ask a lot of questions, and know that um, you're not in this alone. And there's always a community here to support you. It's been a pleasure learning with you, and I can't wait to see the amazing things you guys do. And when one of you wins the Nobel Prize, please put me in your acceptance speech. <laughs>